All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna give this another a try. Um, we're gonna start with a little bit of blue paint. Not a lot, just this much. And we're gonna put a little bit of red paint in there. And a little bit of white paint here. So we're gonna start with the background and this is what we're using. You're gonna use your larger brush and you're gonna wet that brush. And you're gonna use your paper towel to dry it off. So there's my brush, taking the excess water off. going to mix these two colors together. And I'm going to start painting up here in the center. Again, you're going to want to probably do the top and the sides. So I'm just going to paint side to side, but a little bit um, I'm drooping it a little bit in the center. I'm not gonna clean my brush. Just gonna add a little bit of white to that. We're gonna continue. bit of purple, a lot of white. We're going to continue that again. Only white. I'm not cleaning my brush. And I'm just going to keep going down until I decide where my horizon line is. You're hearing my boiler in the background. So next, <clears throat> I'm going to add some yellow paint on my palette. So let's go with yellow over here. And a very small amount of black in there. I've taken another brush or you can wash your brush. I'm just going to mix those together. And I'm going to make a green. Also, I'm going to put some white back in here. And I'm going to paint 
paint the bottom with that green. So you notice I'm not quite touching my blue. just yet. So before I do that, I'm going to take this brush with the green. I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to wipe that green off. I'm not washing it. Wipe it off. And then I'm just going to load into the white. And now I'm going to just paint between the blue and the green. Merging the two together. Again, I'm going to take some more of that green now and paint a little bit more on the bottom part. Next, I'm going to take the fluffy brush, the medium brush. I kind of like these, this fluffy one, um, but a medium brush will do of any kind that you prefer. And I'm just going to smudge on some, some clouds. Just kind of going in a circular motion. going to put a few tinier ones closer to the horizon line and I'm letting the paint sort of run out as I'm doing this. They're very faint. The clouds are not, um, they're not very bright. I just made them very light. Okay, next we're going to do the, um, the trunks the trees. So I'm going to use, I like to use some angle brushes for that, uh, black paint. Just black for now. And I'm just going to start from the bottom. I'm kind of making it thicker on the bottom and thinner on top as I go upwards and again I'm just gonna make let the brush do its own thing here I'm just wiggling it around do as many as you want And you can make the leaves any color you want. I just chose blue. You can make them pink, purple, red, orange. So it's not a realistic 
photo. So don't try too hard to make this realistic. I mean painting. Off to the other side. I'm not starting on top of the green. I'm starting, you know, a little bit into the green, like an inch or so. Just wiggling my brush around. Maybe someday I'll figure out how to set myself up better because right now I'm painting on an angle so I don't really get a good um, view of the painting right now. As time goes by I'll figure this out. early Saturday morning. Stuck in the house like everybody else. Trying to find something to do and hoping that you'll all join me. I love to paint. Almost every day. You can add the highlights at the end. It doesn't really matter where you put your branches or how many. the roots okay I have some of that purple left I'm just gonna maybe add a little bit of blue to my purple I still have some white left over so I'll add a little bit of blue here and I have some white I'm going to paint out my, my leaves on the tree. I'm going to just go into the darker colors, the purple and the blue. doesn't matter. I'm just tapping into both of them at the same time. And here we go. I'm just going to do this in clusters at the end of the brushes, sorry, end of the branches for now kind of moving my brush around so that I don't always get the same shape. I often teach my classes with mostly the primary colors and black and white. But I am adding a different color to this one. Um, but you can, it's a turquoise, but you can always make your own turquoise with yellow and blue, a little bit of blue and some white. Let 
practice paint run out as I'm tapping it on. Tonight we're going to try our first live painting. I'm not sure how that's going to go. I'm going to set up my basement today once this is done. Just so maybe I can interact with everyone. So now I'm just going to, I'm not washing my paintbrush, but I'm just going to add white to it. And now I'm going to actually take some of that white off and I'm going to go back in there with the white. It should make like a light blue in some areas. So, hoping tonight turns out great, hoping it's fun, not sure if anybody's going to log in, not log in, but tune in, I'm sure they will, there'll be a few. Give it a try and then you guys can maybe give me some tips, I'm going to put some in front of the tree trunk as well. is not dry yet. Let's try to I'm gonna go back to that when it's all dry. Okay, next I'm going to do the little, I think it's a shed or a little garage in the back. Um, so I'm going to use a combination of this blue, this white, and the smallest amount I'm talking if you barely touch some of the black where it's kind of um, just smeared on to the like the smallest amount. I'm just going to put it in here. See, there was hardly anything there. White. And then some of this purplish blue. So I have a very small amount of pale blue. And that's what I'm going to use to make my little shed. Okay. I'm going to draw out the walls first. Might need a little bit more white in there, so I just kind of loaded up the white. Doesn't show very much, so I'll just add some of that purplish blue.
I'm going to do the front on an angle like this. Lighten this side. So this is the front of the shed, and this is the side of the shed. I'll probably darken this one a little bit more too. Okay, I'm going to do the roof. So I mostly load it up into white. We'll see what happens. Notice the angle. Good enough. It's meant to be in the distance. It's not meant to be defined. It's sort of supposed to be kind of blurry. Faded. And now I'm going to use some of this black without washing my brush. I'm going to just smear it in here just to get a different shade for the door. Something a little darker. And I'm going to put a little door there. So what I'm going to do next is I've got my brush and I'm going to take most of the paint off of this little brush and now I'm just going to like, I don't know, smear it a little bit down here just to make it look like it's in the distance. The bottom of the little shed is what I'm smearing. I just didn't want that hard line. So I'm using a dry brush for that. Also, this green, let's put a little bit of black in a little part of it, just to make an area a little bit darker. So now I have a very dark green. I didn't use up all my paint, just a little bit here. And I'm going to just darken some areas here in between the roots of the tree. So I'm just putting a little bit of green there and then I think I'm gonna use my finger to smear that. Let's do a little bit on this side. If your lines are too hard, then wipe your brush, the excess paint on your paper towel, and then maybe just grab a little bit of white. I'm going to grab a little bit of white here, and I'm going to soften this a little bit. Anyway, I'm covering this up with flowers. Sometimes if you stick around in one area for too long, the paint starts lifting. So you have to let it dry before you go back in. But I'm not going to worry about this section. I'm going to let it be.
because I'm going to be adding a lot of flowers there. And I am going to clean my brush off, my little brush. Use a paper towel again to blot off most of the paint. I didn't clean it that well. That's okay. Now I'm just going to go into my white. It's okay if my palette is a little bit dirty. I don't usually take new paint. So I'll, I'll tell you if I do, but right now I'm not. Um, white paint. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight the tree a little bit. So I'm going to put some white. In, on top of my roots and in the front of the tree the, sorry not the front but the part that's facing the center the part that's facing the shed and we're gonna do it on this side too I warned my husband this time that we're down here hoping that he wouldn't interrupt me for at least an hour. Not make too much noise up there to distract us. Okay, so if you want, you can, again, I'm not cleaning my brush. I've got some white left on there, on there white left over, a little bit of green. This is entirely up to you, so white and green light green. I'm making light green. I am going to take most of that off here on my palette and I'm just going to smear a little bit back here to give the illusion of trees. I'm just kind of like kind of scribbling back here. I'm not really trying to make a shape or anything. I'm just kind of going up and down and sideways and kind of scribbling. Um, I'm going to do it over here too. You can see I don't need a lot of paint for that. And you need it to be pretty, pretty light. Put some over here. I can clean that up or try to make it something. So for now, I think I'm just gonna try to clean it. If it doesn't work, we'll make it something. Not sure what, but that was clean water and a clean brush. And I'm gonna try to wipe that off. Probably, not, probably too much of a big brush. Again, I'm just taking the paint off with a wet, not too wet, I just have a little bit of water on there. And then, you know what, I'm going to make it part of my painting. I'm going to make it part of the background. Smear it in there. Maybe add a little bit more. I'm adding some light green. I used to, um, when I first started painting, I didn't really have anybody to teach me, so I taught myself. And I made a lot of mistakes, but the difference now is um, I'll work through them. And it, when I first started out, I just, um, I've told this story a million times, I would just open my door and throw my painting outside so that my husband could 
throw it in the garbage. So I had like a bunch of paintings outside my door because it just felt like I couldn't get it right. But now my favorite quote is paint past the ugly because if I want to, I can just keep painting until I'm happy with it. But that could take a really long time sometimes which I don't really have time for you like to do that right now so good enough this will just be um, some brush and stuff going on in the background okay so now I'm gonna paint the truck the truck So I usually start off with white and I'm going to start painting him right about here. Painting him white for now. I just get um, the shape of it. And then I'll go ahead and paint him. So you can paint him any color you want. So I'm starting off pretty much with a rectangle. But this part, this side over here has an angle on it. So it doesn't matter that this paint is muddied up. I'm just getting a shape. I paint people this way too. I paint animals this way. So I do quite a few layers when I paint um, a house, a person, a vehicle. Actually, it might be my first time painting a vehicle. Don't think I remember doing this. Alright, so there's his shape. And I'm just going to paint where I think the wheels are going to be. Right about here. Just black paint for now. better off painting something a little bit too small and then just making it larger because you're always going to have to readjust you can always use chalk to um, draw this out first But I try to wing it, and I don't get it right, right right off the bat. Some people are pretty good, and they get everything right first try. But I don't generally. Um, it usually takes me a little while. But I just keep working it. Okay, so I've got some sort of shape here. Um, now I'm just going to go into a little bit of the white that I've got. Again, it's okay. I didn't clean my brush, so it's going to be sort of, well, actually i got quite a few colors in there doesn't matter I'm just doing the center of the, the wheel for now okay and now I'm gonna just wipe get some more paper towel and wipe my paint off on it Again, with white or anything light that's left on your palette, I'm going to do this other part of the truck over here. Kind of looks like around the center, this part. I'm 
might be off a little bit, so I'm going to go a little longer over here now. Remember, this is not really a realistic painting. So don't worry too much over this. If it was realistic, I would have probably drawn out a, a grid. Well, I would have. That's what I usually do. So now I'm going to put red on my palette. And I'm going to paint it out red. Okay? So I don't have a lot of red there. You don't need a lot. It goes a long way. Small brush and paint out your truck red. We'll add the highlights. You know what? Sometimes I find the red too red. So I just add a small amount of yellow so that it's less transparent. So I just added a little bit of yellow and I'm going to mix that up together and it'll be less transparent. So I didn't put a lot. Just a small amount, just to say. So I'm going to paint the whole thing. The whole entire truck red. Takes more than a coat. I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's my husband walking up there in my old kooky house, as I mentioned before. So the truck can be any color you want. Uh, one of the girls on my page, one of our followers, uh, sent a reference photo and the truck that she sent was more like a, a turquoise. And it was a lot bigger than this, but I didn't want to do that exactly. So I, I put my own twist on it. It's okay if some of the black smears into your paint from the wheel. Um, it's going to add a little bit of character to your truck. It's going to be ugly for a little while. I got pretty discouraged when I was painting the original. It took me a little while to like it. I'm trying to paint with the shape of it. I said you can you girl well sorry you, you all can um, draw this out with chalk or a pencil coloring pencil works well bit of black I didn't wash my brush when I did that I put 
put a little bit of black over here too. A little bit up here. Here. Put a little bit here. So I'm working wet on wet. I'm going to try to draw out the shape of the door. I'm barely touching. There's the shape of the door. Do the handle. Again, black. Still didn't clean my brush. I put a little bit little door handle there. Paint a little bit around the window. I'm just kind of skimming the paint on this part. Very, very lightly. Not a lot of paint on the brush right now. Some more red. I put red on my brush and there's still black on there. So that's good. Oh look, let's do the um, this part right over here. Just a little black. And just work on the wheels again. Just black paint. I'm gonna wipe that paint on my brush. Sorry, that paint. I'm gonna wipe that paint from my brush on a paper towel and I'm going to use some of that red that I have left over that had a bit of yellow. I'm going to put um, some aside over here just a little bit like that. A little bit of black in there. So I've got kind of like a brown and you can see that I don't need a lot. This is all I need. Okay. I find that we um, always mix too much paint. This is all you need. Basically, I probably won't reload, so I'm just doing the flower pots. I don't know why I'm using this brush. I don't like it. I like um, more of an angle brush that's a little stiffer. So kind of like rectangles that are a little bit wider on top is the shape of the flower pots. I don't like to use too much paint for this part. There you go. Flower pots. And I do have probably some white on there. I'll find something lighter, anything that's lighter. And I will go ahead and put a few lighter lines on here. Okay, and then maybe a little bit of lighter around in the tires. little part in the middle of the tire should be gray so I just I'm just still working with what I have on my palette and I'm making a gray and doing this part gray now I'm gonna clean 
this bread. Well, I'm not really going to clean it. I'm just going to use my paper towel again. Wipe that off. And I'm going to go into the red. And I'm just going to tap. So, little brush, red. I'm just going to tap dots in the flower pot. Lots of little dots. I've got some green left over. Not going to make anything new. Just going to use a little bit of that green as well and pretend that we're making, that we're painting leaves. So again, it's just an illusion. Just tapping some green here and there. I'm going to leave that part alone for now, let it dry, and then I'll go in and put some more. I didn't clean my brush again. I'm going to go into this orange, and I'm just going to like tap some little dots near the tree trunks here. Going in towards the vehicle. Now I'm going to go on the opposite side. Now I am going to take a little bit of white because I've pretty much used up everything that I can see on there that has white very small amount right there it's probably more than I need I'm gonna take that without so I've got a little bit of red and a little bit of that white so I'm gonna make a like a pinkish color and we're gonna tap some pink in there randomly anywhere you want This side too. Again, it's just an illusion. It's like little dots. Try to keep most of them near the tree. Go heavier in here. And light pink. I'm just giving a chance for the other things to dry, like the truck and uh, the flowers in the flower pots. I'm letting them dry before I go back to it while I'm um, working on this part down here. put some yellow in there too at one point. So now my truck is dry. I'm going to go ahead and paint another layer of red in the truck. And over here, go ahead and cover that black up. I just want it a little bit show through.
Now if um, this part is too dark still, you can go ahead and add some white in there because it's still wet. I'm going to add um, some white on top while it's wet in the door. I'm going to add some white the, right over here as well. There you go. Starting to give it some shape. And I'm going to do that over here too. So you just keep working it. I'm going to put some white in here as well. Little white streaks. I'm going to go back to the red over here. I'm going to use again my paper towel to wipe this paint off of my brush, go into the white, and I'm going to just do a little dot here, whoops, try to get some of that off. painted gray. Not right now, I'll just wait for it to dry. But I will put some pink, so light, some white and red. I will add some pink flowers in here, tap it in, tapping it in is again. And they could be like drooping. The flowers should be going over the flower pot, not just on top of the flower pot. Now, I am going to take some of my dark green, I have some dark green here, leftover, tiny bit of black. I'm going to dry brush, so not a lot of paint on my brush. I'm just going to go underneath the tire. I'm just going to like darken some areas underneath the tire. And I feel like it should be darker underneath the truck too. I'm going to darken a few areas underneath the leaves on the ground. Just smearing the dark colors. Put a little bit of dark here. I feel like it needs to be darker here. Let's go a little bit dark here. So you notice I just use my dark green. I'm gonna go a little darker over here. Maybe here. You have a look at your your truck and you decide where you think there should be some darkened areas and some lightened areas. Again, I'm going to go with the red in there. some white. Let's go right here. I want this part to really stand out. You 
can rechange your shape of paint if you don't think that you have the right shape. Maybe I'll lighten the top with the white paint. I'm not going straight white. I'm never really cleaning my brush. Just because I don't want it to be completely white, I do want it to be a little bit pinkish. So inside the window, I'm going to take my paint off. And I'm going to off my brush, just go into the white and pull most of the paint off again. And I'm just going to like um, paint a little bit like on an angle. A few lines here to make it look like a window is closed. Again, I can fix that. Put a little bit of yellow. I'm such a cheater because I don't want a lot of yellow, so I'm kind of like taking what's in the lid here. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap some yellow in the flowers. To add a few yellow flowers. And I'm also going to put some yellow flowers near the trees. just realized I had a little bit of a trail. So I do have yellow left over. I'm going to go into the white. Maybe I had a little bit of yellow left over. So then I also went in, I went into the white. It's okay if there's a bit of pink. I went into the green. Uh, more white. So now I'm going to again wipe that off. Most of it. I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of a trail here. Now that's probably darker than I want it, so I'm just going to add white to that. Maybe white near the door. Without cleaning my brush again, grabbing some white, and I'm going to go into this area and lighten that area because it shouldn't be so so dark back there. I can also see that next to my shed or garage I'm going to just with some green I just didn't clean my brush again I went into that that same green that I just made for the pathway and I'm just gonna scribble some next to the shed here to make it look like there's foliage or brush or something going on there. Okay, so now I'm actually going to put some of this green on my truck. Maybe I'll just try to add a little bit of red again right over here. Just red. I'm just kind of trying to thin out this black, make it not so dark, not so noticeable. Okay, so here's my green that I like to use. It's turquoise. Again, I'm just going to use what's in the lid here. So if you have a clean brush, I'm just going to clean my brush. Go into my lid because I barely need any. I'm just going to do some random um, 
little, I don't know, paint peeling. You can use a popsicle stick to scratch it on. Put it wherever you want, however you want. A little bit here. Down here. I'm gonna use the other end of my br my brush to maybe like do some scratches. black a little bit, very little. I wiped it off but I still have a little bit of residue. Went into the black slightly. I'm going to wipe it on my paper towel again just to say I have very small amount of black and green on here. Just because I want to go ahead and maybe it's almost like you're drawing or coloring. I can go and do some shadows and you know maybe some shadows underneath some of that green. some areas again over here. I like to use my fingers a lot to blend. Anyway guys, show me what you've done. I'd like to see your pieces. I hope they turned out okay. I hope that uh, you're enjoying these and that some of you are benefiting from them. Um, and anyway, I'm hoping it's keeping you all busy because I know we're all stuck in the house. Alright guys, I hope I didn't forget anything. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, take care. Have a nice day.